Today we're making chicken tinga tacos. Now this is a Mexican dish that is made with shredded chicken and it's just full of Mexican spices and flavors. You're gonna love it. You can use it in just about any kind of Mexican dish you want. We're gonna be cooking this in the Instant Pot so it's real quick, but you could do it on the stove in a stock pot, no problem. You can use this in quesadillas or tacos or enchiladas, burritos, pretty much anything. You're gonna love it. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. Why did the Mexican install a mouse trap? Tequila mouse. Now to make our recipe, I'm using boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I like to use those. You could use breast if you like, but I find that these are so much better. They're just, they stay nice and juicy and moist and tender. So it's the better option. But these thighs tend to have a little bit of extra fat on them. So what I'm gonna do is go through and trim each piece and just remove some of that off. Then I'm gonna season these up with some salt and garlic powder on both sides. I'm gonna saute the chicken for six minutes in the Instant Pot here. Next, I'm gonna add some olive oil to my Instant Pot, say about two tablespoons. And don't forget, you can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. Next, we'll let the chicken lay right in the bottom of the pan and sear for, you know, about three minutes or so, or until it turns golden brown. Then we'll flip it over and do the second side. It's been about four minutes on the first side, so we'll go ahead and flip these over, and you can see they're a little bit golden brown, and there's a little bit of bits sticking on the bottom, which is great because it adds flavor to our dish. After four minutes and we get a little sear on that second side, I'm going to take them out and place them in a dish and keep them warm. You notice those brown bits in the bottom of the pan? Well, those mean flavor. We're gonna release those by adding some liquid. But first, we're gonna chop up some onion with a super fine dice, and we're gonna toss that in and saute it for just a few minutes. Make sure to scrape down the bottom of that pan so you can pick up a lot of those brown bits. After we saute our onions for about five minutes, then we're gonna prepare some fresh garlic. So we'll just take off the skins and run this through a, a garlic press. You want to saute your, your garlic for only one minute so it doesn't burn. Keep stirring it. Now it's time to start working on our chicken tinga sauce. So we're going to take a couple of cans of Mir Glen here. I have some fire roasted tomatoes. And we're going to place everything in a blender. So those onions and garlic we sauteed, well they're going right in the blender too. Now we'll add some mild green chilies. These are already diced, so we're just gonna toss them right in the blender. Now for some Mexican spices. Let's start off with some oregano and some ground cumin. Now for some smoky heat flavor, we're gonna add some chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. Now you can make this as spicy or as mild as you want. Now inside these little peppers are a ton of seeds and if you like it hot, leave those seeds in and if you like it mild, take them out. And of course there's always a little bit of sauce as you can see here and you can add that to your, to your main sauce too. We'll toss our pepper in the blender as well. Okay, the last thing I'm going to add is some bone broth or chicken broth. And we'll pour that in and then we'll blend this baby up. We'll pour this right back into the Instant Pot, and then I'm gonna add a nice pinch of salt, and then we'll add the chicken back. What's great about this recipe is that it cooks up in six minutes and you've got dinner going. And there's plenty of sauce here in the pot, so if you wanted to add some more chicken thighs to this, you certainly could. You could practically double the recipe without adding more sauce. So make sure you submerge your chicken here, and now we're gonna put the lid on, and we're gonna cook this on pressure cooker for six minutes, and then we're gonna do a slow release for 10 minutes. Okay, it must be time for chef joke number two. I went to a soccer game in Mexico, and it ended up in a tie, one to one. Here's our chicken after a total of 16 minutes, that's six minutes in the pot, and then 10 minutes with the slow release. So I'm gonna take the chicken out of the sauce, and we're gonna shred it up. As the chicken is probably cooled off from the shredding that I did, then I'm going to put it back into the Instant Pot. I'm going to turn it back on to saute to just kind of warm it up again, make sure it's nice and hot before we serve it up. Remember, it's got to be hot to be good. 
and give it a nice little stir to mix it all up and then just heat it up on saute for maybe five minutes. That's all it'll take. While the chicken is heating up, then I'm gonna prep up some cilantro for some garnish and we're gonna serve it up with a little bit of sour cream and some cheese now, cotilla cheese or feta or whatever you have on hand. So white cr crumbled cheese works really nice. Since we're making tacos, I like to heat up my corn tortillas in a tortilla oven here. And you just place your tortillas in there, pop it in the microwave for about a minute, and you've got some piping hot tortillas. All right, so first goes our chicken tinga, and we'll just lay some of that in there. Nice, good amount. I'll add a little cilantro on top. This is a very simple recipe. Then I like to add a nice little garnish of sour cream, especially if your chicken tinga is spicy. You're gonna wanna add that uh, sour cream to just cool it down a bit, and then top it off with some cotilla or feta or goat cheese crumbles, and maybe a little bit of squeeze of lime juice. The lime juice really finishes it off and brightens up the flavors. Let me know in the comments who's going to try this. If you're by chance into Mexican food, you're going to want to try my Mexican tostadas here. This is made with beef and it's got all kinds of deliciousness in it. You are going to love it. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to the recipe. This is one of my all time favorites. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. If you did, let me know by smashing the old like button and leave me a comment because I always love to hear from you. And if you have any recipe requests, let me know down there too. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.